Hello everyone, and welcome to another iSecurity webinar from Rasley Security. My name is Ellie Spitz, and I'm VP of Business Development at Rasley. Today, I'll present an overview of our IP journal product for securing and auditing applications by monitoring changes made to business critical data in real time and alerting relevant people when data in a particular field has changed by more than a predetermined amount. No less important is the fact that IP Journal actually monitors read accesses to data, since, as I'm sure you'll agree with me, simply viewing the salaries of people in Department A is a security breach in and of itself. Let's begin by viewing where AP Journal fits in to the overall iSecurity suite of solutions, and from there we'll continue by describing the challenge and, of course, the solution that we provide. The iSecurity suite of products is a very comprehensive uh, set of software solutions for security, auditing, and compliance in the IBMI. Beginning on the left, there obviously has to be a need. The need could be a, uh, a compliance a ruling such as PCI, HIPAA, SOX, etc., auditor's requirements, regulations, perhaps a security breach that actually occurred, perhaps a management decision, or perhaps even a security assessment, which we offer a free a security assessment to see how well we comply with industry best practices. The iSecurity suite of products broken down into three sets of solutions, auditing, protection, and databases. And in databases, you'll see AP Journal for database auditing, filtering, archiving, and real-time alerts. On the right, in the area of evaluation, we have a product for graphical business intelligence of a security-related data warehouse of log events from the network, from your applications, a compliance evaluator product for evaluating how close are we to complying with SOX, PCI, etc., integration with SIEM or DEM solutions, and a central administration capability in the event that we have multiple LPARs. The challenge when we talk about application security is as follows. Although it is possible to retrieve information from any of the above systems which relate to a certain order number, there really is no easy way to do so from all systems or applications at one time to sort in the order of date time across all these applications to focus on an important business item which perhaps appears in two, three, four, or in all these different applications that we see here to provide before and after images of changed or even of accessed data and to supply details that are related to the change or to the access, who made the change, from which IP address, on which date or time, from which terminal, by which program, etc. Some of the AP Journal features are as follows. First of all, AP Journal uses the IBM database journal for its input, but the database journal does not record read accesses, and so therefore we use triggers to so supplement the database journal with read activities if this has been chosen as an option. AP Journal requires no CPU on the production machine. It operates in real time or in delayed mode. We'll see a slide later on. It requires no programming at all. And we have customers worldwide who have added application functionality to existing applications without programming. And I'll show you an example. And again, we integrate with multi-platform SIEM and DEM products so we can send uh, we can send update information to these solutions for analysis and forensic uh, analysis at a central multi-platform system. Some business examples of how AP Journal could be used, for example, to send a, a message, a, an email, perhaps a text message, when the interest rate changes by more than 0.2 percent. We'd like to prevent We'd like to provide a customer with a timeline report showing how the mortgage, how details in his mortgage have changed over the last 20 years. We all know that mortgages sort of have a life of their own. Different items 
and a mortgage to change the payment, the guarantors, etc. Who modified the payments database overnight or during the summer vacation? This is an interesting one, number four. Which users who are not managers actually viewed a confidential table since the last business day? And number five, which relates to compliance, what changes to the bank's production libraries were not made via the application, but, which were, but were done instead by a, an IBM or a third-party utility? As I said, AP Journal has been used worldwide by customers to extend, to add functionality to existing applications without, without having to program. For example, the company called ProMedico, which... Uh, had a medical data warehouse. They actually used AP Journal in order to monitor the number of items on hand per item. And when someone ordered a quantity of a certain item and the number of items, uh, number of uh, items on hand for that particular item went below a threshold, an email was actually sent to the uh, people involved in the order process for the particular item. This is a small but very easily understood example of how we extended functionality in an existing application without programming and uh, really very, very easily. And we can provide additional examples uh, from our technical support. Naturally, AP Journal has output and alert capabilities. We report uh, to various Output media, uh, email with HTML or PDF uh, attachments. The user can refine the selection criteria, can save these criteria, can schedule the run to re the report to run uh, on a predetermined schedule, daily, weekly, etc. To set the recipients and to optionally provide a report-specific explanation for recipients so they'll understand what they're looking at the report that they've received. The alerts are in free format and they can actually contain fields originating in the event. So at runtime, in real time, at the time the message is, uh, is sent, is initiated, uh, data from the event itself gets uh, replaced in the free format message that we've defined. We support uh, various uh, ERP solutions from AP Journal, and as a result, we've included in the product the bilateral data conversion capabilities between external and internal data, because there are some uh, packages which, for example, will represent the date in some kind of internal format. And so all outputs and inputs will be in standard human format while all internal representations will be according to the product itself and the system logic. We have different databases in this technical overview, and a certain business item, for example, a loan number, could be in different positions in the uh, application uh, called accounts receivable, accounts payable, general ledger, etc. That's what we see here in the vertical line. The databases, uh, changes, to the, changes to the databases are recorded in the IBM Journal receivers. We supplement this information using triggers, as I said earlier, optionally. Uh, when there's a read, when one of these fields has been accessed, so the journal receiver now includes information both on updates and also on reads. Processing of the receivers in real time, long-term storage in containers. These are AP Journal uh, containers. You can see that the data has been normalized so that the loan number, which here may have appeared in different sections of the database, now all appear in the same, in the same position in the database together with important information that we've gathered for long-term storage from these databases. Our reporting system can use either the receivers or our containers as input in order to uh, produce output to the screen, to email, HTML, and printouts. Here's an example of our graphical user interface. 
The left side of the screen shows our navigation window, application outputs. We can see here in the background uh, various update records and events, job name, username, etc. And if we open just one of these, we can actually see that two items were not changed. On the other hand, two items were changed in this particular update, which took place from this IP address, this program, on this date and time by QSEC offer. And since we have, of course, the values of the before and after uh, of the field, it's obviously very easy for us to initiate an alert when the difference between the before and after is a certain amount or a certain percentage. HTML report with exactly the same information for those who prefer. Green, or in my case, white screen background with the same information. Update from this IP address. File library member by this user, QSEC offer. And these are the after values. These are the before values. Our visualizer product for business intelligence can also analyze the information provided by AP Journal. As you can see here, we're looking at a database of changes and, read and reads from a certain database. We filtered by a number of dates. We're looking at certain IP addresses. We've filtered by a number of objects, and we can see the breakdown here of the number of reads, updates, and writes to this database, which adhere to these criteria that we've defined here. We could also click on job name on this uh, transaction field to see which jobs access the database on these dates from these IP addresses to these objects etc. So these dimensions can be clicked. We clicked operation and we see the information here. This is a an excellent visual view of changes or read accesses made to the database. It's highly recommended. Finally, syslog with AP Journal. This slide actually shows syslog in general using a Kiwi syslog daemon. Uh, our products, you can note here that in red, multi-product, firewall, and authority on demand originated these messages from two different systems in green, from two different IP addresses in blue. And if we continue just one more slide, we'll see that AP Journal can also send to a syslog product. For example, in this case, the previous price was $99.65. The current price is $199.65. And as such, um, since the price changed by more than 2%, an alert was initiated, a syslog message was sent, and we received this information on our SIEM product. Thank you for your time. Please visit us at www.rasley.com. And if you have any comments, questions, or otherwise, send me an email at marketing at Thank you. Have a great day.